Welcome to the Professional Troublemaker Podcast. My goal is to help you cultivate the courage, authenticity, and audacity you need to use your voice, take up space, and live a life that is so bold that your wildest dreams say goals. I'm your host, Lovey Jai Jones, New York Times bestselling author, sought after keynote speaker, and side eye sorceress. I am so excited to welcome you to this new podcast. Why this new podcast? Well, truly, it's not so much new as renamed. After running the gauntlet that was 2020, we made it though, you know, praise Jesus. It felt that in the face of all the adversity that came our way, we all had the chance to grow up, the chance to be better ourselves and to level up. And while Rant and Randomness was doing well, my team and I have been taking a look at everything we put out into this world. And we want to make sure the things we're offering you are the best of what you need to do better and be better. Rants was great, but it had grown up a bit. Rants adulted. Several months ago, we just stopped doing some of the rants too. Not for lack of material, mind you, but because as 2020 rolled along, it got crazy, okay? Also, you can always catch my rants on my social media. But throughout 2020, the interviews we did were with dope people who are out in the world trying to leave the world better than they found it. People like Gabrielle Union, Dr. Yaba Blay, Sophia Bush, Austin Channon Brown, Debbie Brown, Carrie Champion, women and people who inspire me and who are leaving their mark and making good trouble. I wanted this podcast to dive deep on amazing people and what it means to choose to be a professional troublemaker and how they do that in their daily lives. So why name the podcast Professional Troublemaker? Well, this podcast is named after my second book, Professional Troublemaker, The Fear Fighter Manual, that hits bookstore shelves on March 2nd, 2021. Soon, this book comes out into the world and I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. But the book itself is actually named after what I call myself. My now viral TED talk called Get Comfortable With Being Uncomfortable starts like this. My first line is, I am a professional troublemaker. And in that talk, I'm addressing how I've insisted in doing what felt really scary to me and how it has transformed my life in ways I never even imagined. In this namesake book, I explore how our lives would be different if we were given permission to be disruptors for the greater good. I talk about how much farther can we go in this world if we realize that our jobs aren't to shy away from big things, but to actually run towards them. I talk about how dope our legacies could be if we knew that fear is natural and we're actually supposed to do the things that scare us. We're supposed to do the things that scare us. These lessons helped challenge and transform me, even as I was writing the book in the middle of a global pandemic. And as we face all the unknowns on the other side of it, whenever that will be, the lessons in this book are even more life-changing. I know for me, it even changed my life as I was writing it. So with the book, you get the manual on how to fight fear. But with the podcast, I want to give you as many examples as I can of what it looks like to walk through fear and be a professional troublemaker in this world. I know that in my life, I've just been morphed as a result of being the person who committed to doing the things that feel bigger than me, things that feel scary as shit, and things that make me lose my breath. But doing those things is possible for anyone, even if it may feel impossible. So talking through the lessons that I'm learning in real time and talking with the people who inspire me to keep showing up is what this podcast is all about. Funny enough, it's what this podcast has always been about. Now it just has the right name. So... What is a professional troublemaker? I should start by telling you what a professional troublemaker is not. A professional troublemaker is not the person who brings chaos into the midst of any room they're in. That person is a troll. A professional troublemaker is not someone who insists on speaking just to hurt feelings. That person's a hater. And a professional troublemaker is not someone who wants to disagree just for the sake of it. So who is a professional troublemaker? That's someone who speaks the truth shows up as themselves, and is almost unable to bow in the face of a world that demands it. I think a professional troublemaker is someone who knows fear and imposter syndrome. They're real things, but they move forward regardless. A professional troublemaker is a disruptor, a trailblazer, a change agent, a groundbreaker, a rebel, but they have a cause. And I think we need professional troublemakers right now in all ways We need people who are willing to move forward in the face of fear because there's a lot to be afraid of in this world. I mean, especially after the year we just came through, 2020 
ran us through boot camp. So how do you become a professional troublemaker? How do you find the courage to start something new, something you've never done before? How do you decide to step out when there might not be a safety net? How do you find the courage to ask for the promotion you've worked so hard for or the resolve to have that hard conversation with someone in your family? How do you find the depth and the strength to stay aligned with what you feel called to do, even if it feels and seems impossible, especially when you're still surrounded by people who want to keep bringing this dumpster fire energy into your life or into your, like to your feet? Doing something new, doing something big, it starts with courage. Anytime we try something we haven't tried before, fear and imposter syndrome show up. They're there to keep us safe, to remind us that, hey, this is new territory. But usually they go too far and get us thinking that we're not qualified to try the thing or that we should stay where we are and stay comfortable. But staying safe gets you nowhere. Like I said in my TED Talk, like you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. The status quo is comfortable but does not serve us. Every single day, I get messages from people from all over the world talking about how much impact that my TED Talk had on them. The response let me know that this idea of living through fear is a major pain point for people. We are afraid of simply showing up in the world and it affects everything around us as a result. For the professional troublemaker, the truth of ourselves and of the things around us is more important than anything that stops us from pursuing it. The things we must do are more significant than the things we are afraid to do. It doesn't mean we don't realize their consequences. It means we acknowledge that they may come, but we insist on keeping on. Professional troublemakers recognize that fear is real, but that it's an everlasting hater and it must be tackled. Tackling that fear, giving you the inspiration, the tools you need To be a professional troublemaker, that's why we're here. That's why this podcast exists. That's why I wrote that book. And honestly, if you're loving this so far, and if you're wanting to go deeper into these topics, you're definitely, definitely going to want to pick up Professional Troublemaker, The Fear Fighter Manual. Again, it comes out March 2nd, 2021, and is available for pre-order now. You can go to professionaltroublemakerbook.com and order it in all forms. I narrated the audiobook, so if you like my radio voice, you know what I mean? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And honestly, I'm asking y'all, like, I want and I need your help to make this book a number one New York Times bestseller. We going to claim it, okay? They said, say it as it is. It, this book is the best thing I've written so far. It is the best thing that I've written so far. And I am so excited for you to read it. I think about this quote by the late great representative John Lewis. Do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is a struggle of a lifetime. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. A professional troublemaker is anyone who is out in the world with the hope and optimism and courage to make some noise. Every week on this podcast, I'll be bringing you thought-provoking conversations with amazing people who have taken action, caused good trouble, and have consistently showed up with courage and confidence they needed to become the fear fighters they are today. So we'll dive into these conversations over the next few weeks, and we'll also start introducing you to the professional troublemaker framework I dive deep on in the book. The things you must be, say, and do to live beyond your fears and make your wildest dreams say goals. So make sure you are subscribed in your podcast platform of choice. If you subscribe to Rants and Randomness already, you actually don't have to resubscribe. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. And as the episodes come about, feel free to share your insights and mic drop moments on social media. Follow us. We have a new username. It is at professional troublemaker on Instagram. All right. Tag us. Let us know if what is connecting with you. And for me, you can find me at lovey everywhere. L U V V I E on all the platforms until next time. Next episode, have the courage to speak your truth and show up as yourself. Make good trouble.